is a quick tutorial for uh, spinning objects and uh, what we have here is uh, this direction uh, we have the concept of gravity so this is the force of gravity going down and uh, in this direction here we have the concept of a centripetal force and it's all tied together um, throughout through the force of tension so the first question is asking what's the actual distance so the actual distance is the circumference and so the distance is uh, the circumference which is equal to pi times diameter so that's the first question here uh, pi times diameter now it's um, 50 revolutions so it's times revolutions and uh, in this case it goes 50 revolutions I'm not sure I guess it goes different revolutions for each test question Velocity of the block is always velocity equals distance over time. And uh, the distance is going to be uh, from this question here. And time is going to be 38 seconds in this case. I think they all might be 38 seconds, but um, that would be the um, big difference there. So this is meters, and then the velocity is meters per second. And then magnitude centripetal force. Um, this is FC, um, so um, that's measured in newtons. And once you have the velocity, then that's pretty easy. So this is FC equals m of the spinning object times uh, the velocity of the spinning object squared divided by the radius. And uh, that's the mass of the spinning object. And the radius is always 0.5, making our diameter uh, 1 meter. So uh, that's the force right there. Now, if the system is balanced, then as we see here, the centripetal force is going to be the same as the force of tension, which will then be the same as the force of gravity, because we're balancing this and we're keeping that bead steady. So this is in a static equilibrium, um, which means it's not moving. Um, it's spinning, but yet it's not moving with respect to up and down. So uh, the magnitude of the force of tension and the magnitude of centripetal force and the magnitude of the force of gravity should all be uh, the same due to this idea that they are the same. So, and of course, those are all Newtons. And then finally, the mass of this bag, the mass that is hanging down, the hanging mass, is going to be equal to um, the weight and the mass and then G and then of course on Earth G is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So um, the mass of the bag is you take the force, which is here, and then you simply divide it by gravity, and then that will give you your mass. And of course, the mass is measured in kilograms. And uh, that's how you get the uh, work through the whole question here.